it is very very important that you run the game from FOSE not just install FOSE so for example if you are still running the game and seeing the following screen this screen you're doing it wrong I'm afraid um, this screen you should only ever see if you need to change the options you change the options and then you exit you will always be running this game from FOSE uh, however I would also recommend everyone use Fallout Mod Manager FOMM um, and if you're using that it will actually automatically run FOSE for you and since so this tutorial is going to make the assumption that you are using that mod I'm going to go from there you've downloaded the full mod version of uh, my mod currently the uh, at this time the version I'm up to is 3.5 um, you download it you open up the zip file and there will be two files in one of them is the faux mod file which is rather large and the other is the installation text um, you should read the installation text carefully um, I'm going to leave it up throughout the whole of this tutorial um, as you say step one make sure FOSE is installed and working um, please note it the mod will work without FOSE in in that it will load up there will be armor there will be headgear but the night vision will not function and the TAC um, target acquisition computer will not function either so that's some pretty important stuff that will not work if you do not have FOSE. Next thing to do go to the FOMOD file and double click it. The following will appear this is the package manager for the Fallout mod manager and you'll notice it says make a copy of original file I would suggest yes what it does then is it copies the file that you've just opened into its own directory structure. You'll now notice Advanced Recon Gear version 3.5. There we go. You'll also notice it's not selected. Installing this is literally this simple. You go to the Activate button, you hit Activate. If you've installed this before, you may well find a prompt for overwriting files. Yes to all. The mod was successfully installed. Click OK. Close the package manager. And I, let me just minimize some windows. And now, if you look in the Fallout Mod Manager's mod list, right at the end, you should see Advanced Recon Gear uh, .esp. Make sure it's selected. It should be. The game is now ready to run almost. Um, it, actually, the game will function just perfectly right now except there will be no icons um, on the heads up display for when you activate the night vision but it will function um, so to get the icons working you open up your Fallout 3 directory that will vary depending on where you've installed it but uh, for example I, I play my game from Steam and it's under Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Fallout 3. Um, you will need to find it yourself. And in there you need to go to the Data folder. Now, you will notice Advanced Recon Gear, ESP. Double check that it's, uh, that it's there, just to make sure. If you want to be really sure that everything's installed correctly, you can also open the Meshes. And you will see Advanced Recon. Go back up, go into Textures you'll also notice advanced recon this means the textures and meshes have been loaded correctly uh, in our case what we're looking for now are the menus if we go to menus um, and then go into main this is where the work begins um, this is a little bit more complicated um, so uh, again read the installation text however if there are no files in the menus mail um, as in there is specifically no hud underscore main underscore menu dot xml this means you have no custom UI installed um, in which case that's very easy you go to the advanced recon pre-made folder open the vanilla folder uh, right click on the XML file that is there hit copy 
go back up to the main right click inside uh, the folder and hit paste I'm not going to do that because it'll overwrite mine but in your case it should simply paste without requiring any prompting because it's vanilla if you are like me and you're using the Darnified UI you can go into advanced recon pre-made darn copy the file that's there go back up to main and paste that that is the latest Darnified XML um, main menu um, taken from the Fallout Wanderers edition um, mod um, so it has the grenade icon as well um, if you are using another UI that I have not covered I'm afraid you're going to have to do a little more work but not that much um, it's again written in the installation steps if you look down right at the bottom well about two-thirds way down um, it tells you to open up a certain file in this case it is the HUD main menu XML so I will oh, excuse me I need to edit it tells you to go all the way to the bottom of that file and then take this line which is include SRC and then path to the XML copy it and place it here as you can see I've already done right before the very last tag which is um, the end tag for the menu that will include the um, heads up display required for the advanced recon gear save the file and then you're done and it's as simple as that um, I realize it's a little bit more complicated than uh, some mods um, and I apologize for that but I'm afraid it was essential to add the menu displays and then it is a simple matter of launching the game from the Fallout mod manager <laughs> Now, of course, if this is your first time playing this mod, you're going to have to go off and find those. I leave it to you to find them. Um, as you can see, I've already found the items already. Now, if I activate the position, as you can see, icons, top of the screen, low powered night vision, night vision and um, I also have it set up so that the target acquisition computer is on a key. So press the key. And as you see, another icon appears. And all the targets appear flashing in green. Um, and that means the mod is completely working. Yeah. 